Howdy boys and welcome back to the Bubba Head channel. Playing some more junkyard truck today. On the last episode, we started to get some of the stuff to rebuild the four cylinder. And on the way home, I lost a few parts. So uh, I went out looking for them. I think I found everything. And I decided to go ahead and scrap a motor and a couple of washing machines to go ahead and get the money to go ahead and have enough to rebuild everything. So this is now going to be a complete and full rebuild of the four cylinder. Don't have enough money to replace all of my like ghetto turbo parts, but we got enough money. We got enough to rebuild the entire engine now. So we'll get that done. We'll go through that, and then we'll get out and try to do a few missions. Because we gotta fix this uh, 30 mile an hour top speed and not being able to climb that hill on that last one. Really, that was that was too much. Gotta build. Man, that's nice. A couple hundred bucks right there. All right, let's get this thing pulled in. Get this engine out, and let's see what we can do with her. Oh yeah, we now have steam achievements, so we got that to work with. That'd be fun. So, right, let's see if we got everything now. I think I do. We'll find out. I'm broke, so this is what we got. Whatever I got, it's what we got. Yep. That was the main thing I was missing. It was the number one piston. Which ended up being down by the shop. It completely fell through the ground. Alright, that's all that. And then I got diamond gear and cram. Oh, that's nice. Alright, let's get this old bad boy out and get her on the engine stand. Let's get the engine stand. Let's get the engine stand ready. Which is the most difficult part of any engine rebuild. Ah! Ah! Stop it! Stop, you evil thing. Need an exorcist in here. Uh, that's that uh, that needs to be a, that needs to be a future mission. Exorcist to come in and re uh ah, come in and ah need an exorcist to come in and unpossess my engine stand. There we go. We're gonna call that good enough right there. Alright. Let's see what we can do here. Start underneath. On the world's greatest ah, creeper. Why did the whole front suspension just jump? Oh, wow. Oh, that's not good. Pro tip, guys. Nothing bolt check your... Uh, new no! Like I said, it's, it's haunted by the devil. Some good articulation there. Why did you do that? Stop attacking my truck! Come on. There we go. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta wrangle that beast. Hang on. Let's... There we go. Much better. Alright, why is it just staying like that now? That's not helpful. I like the way the exhaust just isn't hooked up anymore. <laughs> Alright, that's undone. All the clutch stuff should be brand new, so I shouldn't need to worry about that. So we can reuse all the clutch assembly. Alright, uh, let's see. Now, let's see if we can't get this thing on the ground. Oh, it's stuck on the thing there. So if we do that, yeah, we go. All right. Is you ready to come out? All right, radiator hose. Lower radiator hose. I don't know if plug wires. Yeah, plug wires have to matter. Those are new, too. Those shouldn't need to be replaced. It's not overheating, so we're not going to worry about the radiator hoses right now. In real life, it'd be a good time to go ahead and replace everything. You know, the little cheap stuff. All right, what's still holding you in? All right, motor mount, transmission, all that stuff's loose. Do I need to pull the clutch assembly and stuff out? Oh, boy. What's still holding this thing in? Had the same problem when I tried to do the twin turbo swap. Just motor refused to come out. Oh, there we go. That'll do it. Let's see if that don't make a difference. 
No. Oh, there we go. All right. Tell you on the engine stand, just like that. All right. I'd like to be able to replace uh, the EFI intake manifold. Is actually new. I wish I could replace that throttle body right now, but I don't have the cash. So it'll be all right though. Could have a can to pull this thing off as an assembly. All right. So step number one will be completely tearing down the motor. Parts we're going to reuse are going to stay on the table. Junk parts are going to go straight into the bed of the truck. All right. Do, do, do. That just pops off. No tools needed. Again, this is new. Shouldn't need to replace it. Not so much the rest of this crap. All of this stuff right here is getting replaced. Fan belt should be good. If not, it's cheap and easy to replace later. All right, all this stuff's just going straight into the bed of the truck. That way, if we end up needing it, we'll know right where it's at. Eh, if only pulling crank pulleys was that easy in real life. All right, anything else on this guy? I have, I actually have never done this or ever even really worked on one of these kind of motors. So uh, you're learning with me on this on this little adventure. Uh, I guess let's go ahead and pull it. Let's pull this intake and turbo off. Again, too bad we can't pull them off as assemblies. No, that's a, not a good turbo. That definitely needs to be... Uh, turbo and turbo manifold are probably going to be my next big purchase. Go ahead and get this thing. All right, uh, did I buy a new distributor? I did not buy a new distributor. Okay, so we're reusing the distributor. Yep, okay, reusing the distributor. Again, that'll be something really easy to replace once we get uh, a little more cash. This is getting reused. All right. Okay, remember we had to replace this in the very first episode to get it, to get the truck running, so that's nice. And, that should be fun. Everything else, I think, outside of the block from here on out is going to be tossed. Let's see. That definitely trash. Cam bearing. Yep, got new cam bearings, so don't need these anymore. Cam bearings in the truck. Alright, cam should pop right out. Yep. Got a cam. Alright, let's snatch this head off. I'm sure in real life you have to take all the uh, timing. You have to take the whole front timing assembly off before you get the head off. Generally the way it works on overhead cam motors. But no, this one just comes right off. Oh, the way this is looks, it might have, might not have needed uh, to do that anyway. Man, too bad you can't do something with the uh, block. Alright, timing cover. We got a new timing cover. I got a new timing cover. Right? Yep, we got a new timing cover, so that's trash. We should recoup a pretty decent amount of money. Oh yeah, all four pistons completely shot. All four pistons completely shot. All the timing gear is completely shot. Crank looks like it's completely shot. Oh yeah, this thing is an absolute mess. Never gonna get all this stuff down to the uh, scrapyard to get paid for it, but you know what? We'll have a better motor. I guess we'll go ahead and pull that off. I didn't buy a new oil filter. We're going to reuse the oil filter, which is something you never do on an engine rebuild. Uh, starter. Got a nice new starter. So we can scrap that. That's trash. All right. I think we're ready for the bottom end. Because that's all one big assembly there. That's the motor mount bolts that never actually come out. Okay. Yep. We're ready for the bottom end. Oh, God. Wrong button. There we go. Hey, give me one more time. All right. Perfect. Uh, reusing the oil pan. I don't see any reason not to. Looks fun. I don't think the oil pan can damage the, uh... I don't think the oil pan can reduce horsepower any. Why can't I not? Pull oil pan. Oh, I bet. Oh, wait. Okay, we got the oil pan off. Okay, cool. Getting, that's getting reused, so it'll stay... Whoop. That'll work. Alright, just go ahead and loosen everything up that we can. 
Because you got your main caps and then your rod end caps. Alright, I think that's going to do it for everything here. Alright. Drop all these in the fucking truck. Going to smash in the truck or something. It's, I can feel it coming. Truck's going to end up getting tossed across the deck of my uh, shop. What are the odds we make it down there with even half this stuff? I'm leaning towards not very good. And doo -doo -doo. Let's see, can we pull the crank? Nah, gotta pull a bunch of assembly. Which you uh you normally can't do with the uh motor on the engine stand, but you know what? In this world, you can. Honestly, I think that's a better world. Just gotta make sure you get all the bolts out. I feel like I'm missing one. Don't know where. I wonder what would happen if I just get in here. Because this is a thing you can totally do. Come on. There we go. Alright, that's all the bolts off the back end loose. Do I have to take it off the engine stand? Yeah, just, yeah, yeah, just fall over. Be useless. Alright, let's set it up here. I like the way the engine's like still like steaming hot. Eh, that's what we were missing. There we go. Alright, all that stuff should be nice and new, so we're going to reuse it. Don't ignore that clutch disc, because the brand new clutch disc looks like that for some damn reason. Alright, what's still holding the cr- Oh, the pistons are going to come out. Uh, yep, yeah, makes sense. I'm not going to just pop out. Come on. Come on, contestant number four. Come inside. Oh, <laughs> I will get inside you. Oh, I had it for a second. Where'd it go? Ah, come on. Oh, okay, she's gone. So she must have been loose. She was just sitting in there. Just wasn't able to pick her up for some reason. All right, we now have a fresh, ready to go. What the heck is this? Oh, that's the crank still in it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> now we have a fresh, ready to go block. Too bad we can't uh, take this thing down to the machine shop. She's definitely got some uh, damage to the cylinder walls. I don't think she's making good compression. <laughs> uh, oh God, the engine hoist is all jacked up. That'll, that'll work. Engine hoist? No, it's not an engine hoist, it's an engine stand. Luckily, this ain't my summer car. You don't need an engine hoist. All right, let's just start right here, number five. We'll go back here. Go back here. We'll go to the front. Oh, this is backwards. Okay, five's in the front. That's interesting. Shows you I don't know anything about these motors. But by God, we're gonna we're gonna ram through this together. Like most things I try to do in real life, real life, we'll just brute force our way through and hope for the best. We're gonna gently snug these down while the uh, engine slowly rotates away from me. Don't think I've ever had that happen. It's like I got the engine place. It's like I got the engine locked in place with a coat hanger and it's slowly bending. I don't know. That was weird. Okay, let's see. Piston number one. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be number one up here. Okay, nope, the whole thing's just backwards as it can be. I 
five main bearing, the number five main bearing goes in the front, and the number one piston goes in the back. All right. And we need do, 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 rod end caps, number one. Again, if everything's brand new, it doesn't matter. I say again, I said this, I mentioned this in my last video on the uh, V8 engine build. If everything's brand new, it doesn't matter, unless it's been machined. If you've had any kind of machine work done, you need to keep it together. But as far as like brand new ports go, they don't really matter. But if it's a rebuild or anything's been been touched by a machine shop, put it all back the way it came. One to one, two to two, three to three. God, why is the engine slowly trying to rotate away from me? It's very annoying. Alright, and you can never have your torque specs. You can never have everything too right. Oh, yep, see, y'all never know when you might miss one. Alright. What are we doing? Come on. There we go. Alright. Um, let's do this in real life. Let's go and slam the old pan back on. It's usually one of the last things to do in case you drop something down in the motor. But we don't have to worry about that here. Alright, let's get this top end rebuilt. Again, I'm pretty sure you're going to want to put the whole front timing assembly back together in real life, but I don't think it's going to matter here. I'm about to find out. Can bear, let me see, number three to the back. No, oh, number three goes to the front, of course. I don't know if that's just the way he's got things labeled or if that's really how these motors are. I really don't know. Yep, we're going to slam this guy home. Yeah, we're just doing it. Why is the thing slowly moving away? That's so annoying. i to have to report that little bug. All right, let's see. What else we got here? Let's get all this timing gear stuff together, because I'm not really sure what's what. I wasn't paying that much attention when I took it all apart. Uh, where do you go? Oh, luckily it'll just go. It doesn't have to go in any particular order, so just... Just get them any old way you can and get them in there. There we go. And this guy up here. All right. That just seems really inefficient. A stack of four gears instead of a belt or a chain. But hey, you know. Well, think about it. I guess it's reliable as long as you don't ever have anything uh, get into those gears. As long as nothing can fall out, you know, like a Cummings dowel pin fall out or something like that. I guess that's uh, super reliable. Just doing this all kinds of backwards. <laughs> Valve covers feel like the very last thing you do on any engine build. Do 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 do. Front timing covers. Slam that down. I'm sure someone that actually works on these motors is screaming at me right now, but hey, I did a really nice build on the, I did a really nice V8 build, you know, so I, I, I have, I have earned the right to just completely butcher this thing together. See, I'm going completely against my normal idiom. If you know the rules, you're allowed to break them, but I don't know the rules when I'm still breaking the shit out of them, so sorry. I guess I kind of know the rules. I kind of know you need to build the timing assembly first. Like, that just makes sense. You need to put the whole timing assembly together and then put the head on and then do the top end and then do all that. So, I, I know you're supposed to do that, so I think I'm good there. I'm allowed to break those rules now. But I don't know the rules. I just assume so. a little bit of a gray area there. That goes on the other side. Boop, yep, there. Uh, we gotta get all that assembly back together. Da, 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 da. Oh, we'll go ahead and throw the fan back on. Get our intake manifold on. We'll get all this stuff bolted down in just a second. Just get it all into place. Alright, everything's together, so let's snug it all down. Mm 
Oh, got that guy, got that guy. Just those two. Okay, yes, yeah, the big V8 turbos that got the extra, uh, they got the extra two bolts on the inside. I don't know if this is gonna let me even. Oh yeah, why not? Just to nothing. <laughs> Go ahead and put these on because you know we can. Why can we? Maybe not. I know it goes right there. Okay, that's maybe something we gotta put back in the truck to get it back on. Felt can go ahead and go back on after the fan, because that's, you know, how things work in real life. Alright, released. That's not asking for trouble. There we go. Nope, oh, got the flywheel on first, dummy. We're just going to hope for the best here. Mo Cut to me, like, trying to go, like, find the motor as it flies off into the... Ah, horizon. Need the workbench just to be a touch deeper. That'll work. Can't really need an engine hoist. Make it just realistic. Because that's generally when you would do things like this. Get it up on the engine hoist, get all this stuff assembled, and then start to get it into the truck. Uh, yeah. oh. Flywheels and just clutch assemblies are another one of those things you can never get too right. Woo! And now we're back up in the air. That was a fun sound. Alright, uh, radiator hoses. Yeah, I had to get it back in the truck before I could put those back on. It was down here somewhere. Where does this go? I can't remember where this goes. Bad. Oh, bad things are happening. Alright. I'll get that in a minute. Let's get these motor mounts tightened up. All the way tight. Oh yeah, snug her down. Snug her all the way down. All right, get this guy. Something is making a bad sound. It makes me nervous. Usually means something bad's about to happen. Something's about to get launched. I don't know what that sound is. That was just me being under the truck. That's good. And we're gonna... Oops, I had it. I had it. Oh, it's like right here. Come on. There she is. All right. Um, is there any oil left in this oil thing out here? Because I don't know if I used any. Yeah, there's a little bit left in there. That'll at least let me know if I you know, got lost. No, just like the... Nope, that's perfect. Complete engine rebuild. Didn't lose a drop of oil. I'm good like that. That's how real mechanics do it. Alright, that should be it. Let's go see if we can't get any money for any of this stuff. And actually... Ooh, huh, hunger and thirst are way down. Let's get some food in me. That should that should hold me over. All right, let's head down to the junkyard. Oh yeah, fire her right up, no problem. Ooh, we're gonna run out of gas is the problem. Uh. Oh wait, yeah, there's a motor. Oh man, okay, junk's junk's respawning at a ridiculous rate again. This would be a good test, because these little electric motors are heavy as shit. This would be a good test for the uh, truck. We'll go to the... Alright. Yeah, we're going to run out of gas, aren't we? I guess... Okay, we got to go this way so we can go through town. But it'll also give me a chance to climb some hills. Because if I try to go the back way, it's all downhill. Oh, there's the gas light. I've never ran the truck out of gas before. Shit. 
I made that I made that parts run. I made the run into the parts store off record to get the uh, missing pieces. So we're really not gonna have a chance to really oh, test the uh, truck because I'm gonna have to baby it in so we don't run out of gas. But we'll get a good test right here because it literally when I was coming down earlier I had that motor and like two washing machines and it was struggling up this hill which it's still oh no it's way better that's way better. Yeah, I think we uh, think we've uh, raised our top. Wait, it's hard to tell because things are weighted down. We we'll have to get gas. We'll put our last fifty bucks in gas and then go cash all this stuff in. See how much money we get. Junk's respawning at a ridiculous rate again. Yeah, we got Steam achievements now, so I'm kind of anxious to see what some of those end up looking like. Might probably end up just doing an episode of nothing but running around doing Steam achievements. It'd be fun. We're going that mate, going that way, so we might as well get this. crap at all the junk that's spawning now. Couldn't find any junk when I first started the game. Now it's freaking everywhere. We got a nice little stack of cash now. I think it's going to be 200 for the electric motor, 100 each for the appliances, plus whatever we get for all those parts. So we should be doing pretty good money-wise. We'll do a couple of missions and then that'll definitely give us enough to at least start replacing some of the junky turbo parts, which... Might actually be holding the motor back at this point. I don't think it would be. All right, let's just sell all that. There you go. We'll just stash that right there. So let's see how much we get for all the old junk ports here. Probably not gonna be a lot if I had to guess. Oh yeah, R, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna get in there. Yeah, are those? That's probably not gonna work. It's probably gonna throw this too far. Yep, that's gone. Okay, let's see if we give the old alley oop. Dude's got a right arm, like freaking. <laughs> Dude's got a right arm. Ah, dude's got a cannon for a right arm. That's what I was trying to say. Can't talk you good. I, mean, I don't know what I was expecting. You, you, you could hawk a bearing pretty, fu pretty far. They got more than enough uh, mass to uh, really carry some momentum, and you can get a good grip on one. So yeah, I could see you you've been able to launch a bearing. Head gasket, not so much. A little too much uh, wind resistance, I believe, <laughs> trying to throw a head gasket. That did slice your fingers open, more than likely, unless it's a really cheap one. Yeah, let's just see if it takes all that. Okay. Okay, cool. He takes anything even remotely close. All right, let's see how much we got. Just so I don't have to do math. No one wants to sit here and watch me do math. We got... 177 bucks for everything. That's not bad. So if you completely scrap everything, you get 177 bucks. And you get this nice new motor minus the uh, shitty old turbo. And the turbo. Uh, the EFI inlet and the turbo charge pipe. And the turbo exhaust manifold, which we skimped out on. Alright, we now have a fully empty truck. Well, empty as it gets, minus me and some beers. Let's go see if we can't climb this uh, climb this hill over here where the narco antenna was, where we could not climb it before. It's gonna be really disappointed if we still can't climb it, but let's see what happens.
Literally haven't changed anything except the tires. I mean, yeah, haven't changed anything but the motor, so let's see what happens. That's actually worse. What the crap? Oh, now we're stuck in the ditch. Yeah, boy. Alright, so rebuilding the uh, motor was completely pointless. I think it's just that turbo. That turbo is so bad. I think it's now it's now holding the motor back. Actually, you know what I think is going to be the issue? I think it's going to be gearing. I think the gears are going to be shot. Yeah, I bet my front rear differential gears are going to be shot. I didn't take that out of four-wheel drive. Huh, interesting. Let's go see what a uh, new set of gears cost. We got 730 bucks. Let's get that. Let's do that and get that swapped out and see. I'm, I bet that's going to make a world of difference. I'm willing to bet the ones that are in it are completely shot. Let's see. Right here. Oh my goodness. Can't afford that right now. Can't afford both of them. Let's be really dumb. Let's just get the back one. We're going to go ahead and change it right here, right now. Part stores love when you do stuff like this, especially like right here on the main street. Just get in there and tear your holder differential apart. Man, these... Oh, wow, all these bolts are loose. Probably should have checked that before I, uh, while I was under there working on the engine. But, you know, it is what it is. But yeah, I bet these are just shot. Let's see. I don't think these show wear like the other parts do. This is something you never ever do. Never change just the rear. You will grenade something. Because the transfer case is still going to split power 40, or uh, still going to split power 50 50 front and rear. And then as soon as you try to go around any kind of corner where it needs to uh, have different wheel speeds, yeah, you're going to be in a, you're, you're, you're having a bad time. release all right let's see what that does just we did the ultimate no-no and just changed out the rear because my top speed is still extremely low no way the transfer case is limiting that what the crap has the top speed always been 30 for the four-cylinder there's no way oh my god now handles worse somehow. Come on, get out of the ditch. Get out of the ditch. This is ridiculous. Alright, let's see if we can't climb this hill now. I'm gonna be extremely disappointed if we still can't climb the hill. I'm probably gonna need the other gear set, but it is what it is. Oh no, okay, that made a huge difference. Imagine if we have both of them. Still can't get up here. This is as far as I got last time. Still can't get up there. Great. Good thing I took the time and energy to rebuild that motor. <laughs> it needed to be done. And like I said, as soon as I get... Once I get everything else completely done and fixed, we should be good. That turbo is probably providing like one point of boost. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And due to my work schedule being all jacked up, I will now be streaming on Sunday evenings. And, uh, yeah, I want to apologize for this video being late, too. I, uh, had a lot going on this weekend between work and, uh, some Halloween stuff going on. I wasn't able to get a video out until now, so sorry about that. We'll try to get back on schedule for next week, but I can't make any promises. Make sure y'all, uh, like and subscribe. We're over three, we're over 450 subs. Let's get to 500. Let's go. Come on.